Hello, this is Dr. Matthew W.I. Dunn, otherwise known as Dr. Maddie. And I'm making this video primarily for my phone. And it's a, an interesting feature that I found in Microsoft Word 2007. I cannot vouch for whether what I'm about to show you works in later versions, but I know that it works in 2007. Now, the purpose of this video is to describe this. And what I'm talking about is selecting and copying uh, certain formatted text or text that is uh, been placed within, say, uh, certain symbols or signs. Here you can see I have uh, capitalized text that I have placed within brackets, open brackets and closed brackets. You may have certain text within a document specifically that you want to select as a whole and then copy or cut and then paste somewhere else. Now the common thing to do, select the text, double click on the text as a whole, and then you would press the control key on your keyboard and then you would double click on um, all the other text that you wanted, etc., and so forth. And then you would go up and you would click copy or you would click cut or whatever and it would allow you to copy that text or paste that text, excuse me, paste that text into another document. But let's say you have something that's longish, like here, as you can see, I've got 34 pages of text and these notes, these particular notes that I have here formatted in all caps are all scattered throughout the document. And I don't wanna have to go through the whole thing and do, you know, control, double click, control, you know, et cetera and so forth, holding down the control key. Is there an easier version? Well, yes, there is. And for that, I want to give credit to this website, Ms. Lori Kaufman, who posted this back in 2018 and uh, using her instructions for finding and selecting all highlighted text, um, She's talking specifically about text that maybe you've highlighted in, in yellow or something, but it can work in this situation as well. In my situation, I've put brackets around all these comments that were notes that were added to a lecture that I gave in a class that I taught many, many years ago. And I want to preserve the comments, but I want to put them at the end of the, uh, the document. I don't want them scattered about anymore. So what do I do? Well, the first thing you have to do is use Find and Replace. And in Find and Replace, you're going to have to turn on Use Wild Cards. As I understand it, they're just various symbols that have certain functions, functionalities, like selecting all of a text or only part of a text or certain types of text. The basic thing is that each symbol has that you are looking for has to be placed in parentheses. The backslash is used to demark or indicate a symbol that that you're that you're going to use or that you're looking for and each symbol has to be done in this case in separately as because you can see in this case i'm looking for all the text that's contained in between these three bracket symbols so i need three bracket symbols so three three parenthetical statements here for each bracket symbol, because there are three of them. And then in the middle, you have this other um, wild card, which is the asterisk, which asterisk basically means everything, everything and anything, any uh, letter, digit, symbol that's in between these symbols, it will select everything, okay? If you wanna be more specific, there are other wild cards you can use, but I'm not, this is not a video teaching about wild cards or me explaining them. And now we have the, the closed um, brackets. So we need to put three in there in parentheses. So the computer knows that it's three separate back brackets. All right, so if I, if I put, click find next, see what happens if found first section of text that's like that, the second, third, fourth. Okay, now I wanna select all of these and copy them or cut them and paste them somewhere else, paste them at the end of the document. So how do I do that? So you go to find in and you have choices here, okay? 
and the choices should be self-explanatory. I'm dealing not with footnotes, I'm dealing with the main document, although as you can see there are actually footnotes contained within the, um, the section of text that I want, and that's again where the asterisk comes in because even the footnotes will be selected because it selects everything. So now, I want to select all this text and more that you can't see. I want to select it all at once so that I can copy it or cut it and move it somewhere else. I go to this functionality, this button here, the find in button, and you have some options. And the options should be self-explanatory. Uh, you'll notice it says footnotes. And uh, you might also notice that there are footnotes in the text in between the three brackets which is fine. This is where our friend the asterisk comes in because as I told you, the asterisk will select everything. It'll select uh, any text, whatever is in between the, uh, the thing that you tell it to, to look at. I want the main document because that's where the notes are that I want to select. And so I just click on main document. Word found 86 items matching this. Everything is selected, okay? So not a problem. I just go over and highlight the window that's open. I click on the button. That's the copy button. In this case, I'll just copy. I want to remove it. So I'll just go up and in my case, you could copy it, but I'm going to cut it out, all these comments, so that I can paste them at the very end. And I'll go down to the very end of the document. And there you go. So that is it. I hope this helps people. Thank you. Slava Isusu Christu, Slava Naviki.